Hi there. Now, in part D, I've left the question out, but we were asked to draw the scatter diagram for this particular set of data. And I've done it here, actually. Uh, it's a bit small, but uh, hopefully you should be able to get the gist of what's happening. And in part E now, we're asked to find the equation of the regression line of P on T for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And as usual, when you come back, you might want to fast forward just to uh, quickly check the answer. I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, to find the equation of a regression line then of P on T, normally it is Y on X that we have to calculate, where our table here has X and then this is Y. And if that's the case, just as a brief reminder, although you can check out the tutorials on this on my website, you've got that the regression line of Y on X, given by Y equals A plus BX, where B is SXY over SXX, and A is equal to the Y bar, the mean of Y, minus B times X bar, the mean of X. And that's because the point X bar, Y bar, I'll just mark it on here, always is a point. It might not be in the table of data that you've got, but it's a theoretical point that always lies on that line, X bar, Y bar. So that point will satisfy that equation. So it's just a question of rearranging that equation for A and substituting X as X bar and Y as Y bar. But how does that translate for us then? Well, for this question, we're going to be finding P on T. So that's just like swapping everything over. So for P on T, just put it here, P on T, the equation will be P equals a constant, A, plus another constant, B, times T, in place of Y equals A plus BX. Now we've got to calculate that value B. So B is going to be equal to, instead of SXY over SXX, it's now going to be STP divided by STT. OK? And if we substitute our values in, STP was 2369, and divide that by STT, which was this value here, 1569.428, and so on, then we end up with B equaling 1.50 nine four and so on. Now we need to work out A and to do that we used to have to work out X bar and Y bar, the mean of X and Y, but that for us is now going to mean we need to work out the mean of T and the mean of P. So the mean of T, T bar, is equal to the total of all the T's, 341 then, divided by the number of values we've got, which is 7, OK? Uh, leave that like that because that doesn't work out very cleanly. For the mean of P, P bar, that's going to be the sum of all the P's. Well, we've got that value here. It's 833. And again, we divide this by 7. And this works out quite nicely. It works out at 119 exactly. So now we're in a position to work out what the constant A is. So we just put here, and A will equal, well, we know that this point would lie on this line, and so it satisfies the equation. So just by substituting these values in place of P and T and rearrange it, we get that A equals the mean of P minus B times the mean of T then. Substituting those values in, we therefore have A equals the mean of P, which is 119, minus 
B, which we found out, this unrounded version is 1.5094 and so on. And we multiply that with the mean of T, which was 341 over 7. 341 divided by 7. OK. And if you work this out, you end up with 45.467 and so on. So when it comes to working out that equation of P on T, then that equation is going to be P equals A. Now I'm going to round this up to three significant figures. So that's going to be 45.5. And then it's plus B times T. So B we found out to be 1.5094 and so on. So rounding that to three significant figures, that's going to be 1.51 and we multiply that then by t and so this is given to 3sf so i hope that's clear and uh, there we go